How to Identify Any Type of Plastic. Orange Plastics Academy. In this video, you'll discover how to identify a type of plastic by one, a sink or flow test, two, a compression test, and three, by burning it. In our previous tutorial, we listed the seven most common types of plastic. In this video, we demonstrate the tests you can conduct yourself to determine which plastic a product is made from. Test number one, the sink or float test. This test helps you distinguish between two general groups of plastics. Low-density plastics tend to float, such as PE and PP. All other plastics sink because of their higher density. You can try this for yourself with a simple water basin. More advanced sink float separation tanks can be used to actually separate different families of plastic. Test number two. The compression test. Plastics differ in how they react to heavy pressure. Flexible plastics are resilient to heavy pressure, whereas others will bend or even break. By performing a compression test with a compressor, you are able to define the type of plastic of a product. Does the plastic bend? Then it belongs to the family of PE, PP, PA, or PC. If it breaks, it's likely ABS, which is well known for its solid shape. Is the plastic resilient or does it show no change at all? Then it's probably POM, which is able to recover its own shape. Test 3. The Burn Test For the final test, we need some heavy-duty gear. We save the best for last. You can identify a type of plastic by applying intense heat to it. Plastics differ in the speed they catch fire, as well as the color of the flames and the heat's effect on the plastic. PE results in light yellow flames with a blue core. The plastic will show a candle-like grease effect. PP results in the same yellow flame and blue core, but the plastic itself will turn into an oil-like substance. ABS's flames will also result in a thicker smoke and soot. PA generates a blue flame with a layer of yellow, similar to burned horn or wool. PC will light up with puffs of smoke. The resulting smell is relatively sweet. POM flame is almost invisible, with a strong scent of formaldehyde. Finally, PET results in yellow and smoky flames, filling the air with a sweet odor. Always put safety first when trying to establish a product's type of plastic. When in doubt, ask an injection molding company to research a product's specific plastic properties. Orange Plastics Academy is brought to you by Orange Plastics, your partner in injection molding. Want to learn more about plastic and injection molding? Subscribe to this channel or visit www.orangeplastics.com.